everybody today i am doing an areas video all about l14 in liverpool so just i'll just give you a little explanation really why i'm doing this first and then we'll dive in so you guys are probably familiar with content i've put out before on one of my most favorite postcodes l13 old swan and i talk about that part of the market a, a considerable amount and what's happened during covid is that the property prices across our city have risen massively and unfortunately it's outpriced um, some investors so l13 was a really good centralized location it appealed to lots of different tenant types and you could buy something for you know kind of 75 grand right up to about 120 130 grand and everything in between now during covid with the market going as it is that added to the fact that i did some videos on youtube and everybody thought l13 was a great postcode it was almost impossible to find houses in that area i also did a lot of content around l8 in toxteth similar thing happened there and i had started to talk about bootle as well up in the north of the city l20 now what we're starting to see is that you know um the whole of liverpool there's massive demand from a tenant's point of view and there's always something to appeal to every budget but because the market's so difficult at times i thought i'd do this video to give you a bit of an explanation around other postcodes that you might want to explore now l14 is a really good postcode to look at because again it targets lots of different tenant types and that means that you guys can get in at any part of the market that suits you best really so l13 knotty ash is a little bit different to l14 dovecot and for the majority of today's video i'm going to look at knotty ash and there's a reason for that there's a long-term capital growth strategy that we can also employ alongside um, cash flow as well in this part of l14 so I'm currently sitting just in a car park and um, I'm right opposite um, Thomas Lane and any of you guys have ever heard of Ken Dodd that might be quite familiar to you. So Ken Dodd was from Naughty Ash L14, he lived just off Thomas Lane and when I was about 13 or 14 I used to work in a news agent just over the road um, and Ken used to come in for his papers every Sunday so there's my little claim to fame. Now, why Naughty Ash is so good um, from a capital growth point of view, not just for cash flow, is because you are surrounded by lots of postcodes that are own occupier postcodes, much more own occupier than there are in other parts of the city. So many of you might have been focusing more on the North Liverpool, so the L20, um, maybe any, anywhere really from Anfield upwards. So your L4s, your L6s up to L20. Maybe some of you have landed in Kirkdale, L5. And you'll find that the market's quite interesting and you can definitely get some good cash flow, but maybe you're thinking at the back of your mind, you know, I'm going to be holding this for 10, 15, 20 years or so. I also want some capital growth. And you'll find that more towards the south of the city. So whilst L14 is not south of the city, it's starting to come down to the right kinds of postcodes where we're looking for a longer term strategy as well. So I'm sitting in a car park and we are directly opposite um, Alderhey Hospital just over the road over there so I can see Windsor, Sh Windsor's World of Shoes in the middle of the central reservation and just on the other side of that is Alderhey Hospital, our massive massive children's hospital and it's really really famous you know across the country and lots of children get shipped in from other cities and things to be um, you know to be looked after in Alderhey so it's a real massive beacon for this part of the city. Now on the back of that, just around the corner, go down Thomas Lane and up a little bit, we've also got Broad Green Hospital. So that's an adult hospital and um, they're kind of more famous for um, dealing with chests and lungs and kind of, um, you know, things to do with the cardiovascular system. So they're beacons in their own right, both of those hospitals. And whilst I don't want you to focus on where the hospitals are to buy houses, that's what, one of the reasons why L14 works so incredibly well. You will often get families who want to live near to the place of work, obviously, and the hospitals are big employers. Now, the other thing that I think is a little bit more interesting if we're thinking from a cash flow strategy is that you can also offer things like um, accommodation for um, family family members couldn't think of the word then family members of people who might be visiting the hospital so children um older hay children's hospital has got its own ronald mcdonald's house and that's where the families are put up when they've got long-term you know children who are in with long-term illnesses now the ronald mcdonald's house is only able to house so many so unfortunately some families end up in local accommodation so there's a travel lodge and things not too far away and i'm sure um if you think where i'm going with this there's lots of airbnb opportunities as well now just down this road too, this is East Prescott Road that just runs along here and just a little bit further down this road um, I used to know one of the guys that owns a block of apartments and they're two bed apartments and there's about six of them in this complex and he used to have some on long term let and also some let out on a more kind of short term basis and often would get families from the hospital because it's directly opposite the hospital and you know what it's like you know staying in a travel lodge or something is great because it's a bedroom and you've got somewhere nice and warm and safe and you know you've got washing facilities but you can't cook your 
own foods and that's one of the things that you'll find some of these families might be here for a considerable amount of time so if you can buy something where you've got opportunity to do airbnb or um, service accommodation whatever you know it as it's definitely worth exploring in this vicinity so i'm going to take you outside in a second and just show you exactly where we are but i just wanted to kind of lay that groundwork with you so we've got family markets because um you know there's some quite good schools as well in the areas so don't forget always check the Ofsted tab on right move and um, so when you search in your houses there's a little tab that's called school checker and you can see the quality of the school so there's quite a few good and outstanding schools and um, primary schools as well there's a reception um sorry there's a nursery just up the road which is outstanding my little girl went to that nursery and it's an amazing space as well so people want to get into the area and get into the postcodes for those reasons we've got two massive employers we've got older hay hospital and we've got broad green hospital just around the corner and also interestingly this road east prescott road it takes you right up into old swan my favorite place and then it takes you straight into the city center so you can get into the city center by bus in about 20 to 25 minutes or so from this very road here and all of the houses that you can buy that are kind of off this main road they're very close to things like a massive big sainsbury's you've got a block of shops along here and it's also walking distance into Old Swan as well so you've got absolutely everything you can possibly need and as I say there's also the service accommodation angle so that's something to discuss with your service accommodation managers and see how that fits with your business model so let me just take you outside and I'll show you around a little bit more and you can get some um some eyes on the streets themselves Hi again. So I'm standing in the central reservation to just give you a bit of a better position because I'll never be able to walk it in the length of time it takes me to do this video. But you can just see over here behind me, we've got quite a few small um, kinds of some terraced houses, but also some commercial units. So there's a couple of nice takeaways and a few small shops along there. A little bit further up, you can start to see that there's a Sainsbury's just over there. And then if we turn to the other side, this, there, whatever that is, <laughs> is Alder Hay Hospital. Okay, so that's the hospital. And then just a little bit further down, you can start to see the Winters Wells shoes that I mentioned before, and it goes into a bit more of Naughty Ash. So where I'm standing, right outside the hospital, I'd say in about a quarter mile radius of here, um, you'll find lots of small roads, kind of offshoots and things with some houses. And if you go in that direction a bit more towards the shops and towards um, Dovecot L14, you'll also find some new build estates. Now they're not super new. Um, they're probably about 20 years old or so, but they rent really, really well. So because they're newer houses, you don't necessarily have the maintenance issues that come with um, the likes of the Victorian terraces and the damp and stuff like that. So that can be quite appealing to landlords. And from a rental point of view, we've seen rents of north of £700 per calendar month. So yes, the prices are higher than they are in the likes of L13, but you are also getting higher rents. And I think what's interesting about that is when you work it out from a yield point of view, you're still coming in with the same kind of numbers. Now. I think that's what we need to focus on as investors. We're not necessarily thinking about the cost of things. We're looking at that return on investment. So yes, if houses are more expensive, it might be more difficult for you to get that 25% deposit together, but I think it's worth it because what you're starting to see in our market at the moment is that there's a, you know, there's a lot of people fishing in that same pond. And if you focus on those 80 to 120K houses and only focus there, the competition is where it's at its highest. And you will find that every viewing that you come for, there's gonna be 25 to 30 other people looking at that same house. So my advice to my mastermind members for all this time has been around trying to find ways to do something a little bit different. So does it mean that you buy a commercial property instead of residential? Does it mean that you pay for a more expensive house, a 140 to 160K house, for example? That would be a perfect price point that's just outside that 80 to 120 and you will get higher rents anyway so the yield and the return on investment work out the same it really doesn't matter as long as you can get that initial deposit together now something else i've been talking about is ways that you can maximize your rents because obviously a family home as fantastic as it is you've got to find ways to try and make that work a little bit harder for you so in l14 i mentioned <laughs> really loud motorbike um, I did mention about you know the capital growth as well. So if the yield is the same as it would be elsewhere, but you're also getting the benefit of greater capital growth, that could be really, really interesting for you. So I just want you to think about, is there something else you can be doing in this market to just 
get yourself something a little bit different. I don't want you to all get focused in that 80 to 120k pool. So you just go and explore other options. Are there ways that you can maximize that rent? Is, um, you know, is it possible for you to do something like add a fourth bedroom to some of these three bedroom houses? That can definitely maximize rent simply because there's not that many of them. You know, a four bedroom house is so much more appealing than a three bedroom to people who need four bedroom houses and they will pay a premium for that. And we've just done exactly that with a house in Bootle. We've just commanded 900 pounds a month in rent because it's four bedrooms and two bathrooms. And that kind of thing just doesn't exist anywhere in the market. And she was prepared to pay for that. Um, could you look to do something like service accommodation, which I mentioned before on the video, particularly in this kind of the market, as I say here with Alder Hay, you know, if you're letting your house out, um, you know, to families who are staying a long time, you might get a really long booking. You could get a 30 day booking quite easily. And the block of apartments I was talking about is just over there. Um, just when I mentioned earlier on in the video with the guy who had them. So they were all two beds as well. So all they want is kitchen facilities and somewhere that's a bit more homely, I guess, than a, than a hotel room ever will be. So what is it that you can be doing? But I think L14 is definitely should be on your radar. Um, L14 of course is cheaper. So the further down that you go, the cheaper it gets, but obviously the rental values will come down as well. And I think what you'll find is many of those houses in Dovecot rather than Nottyash are fitting into that 80 to 120K um, fish pond, as it were. So what can you do? I think Nottyash is one to watch. And as I say, from a capital growth point of view, just look at the way the figures have gone over time. We um, sold a house in Chilcot Road, which is not too far away from here, to an investor a couple of years ago. Um, she got a refinance at the time of 135 and she was getting a rent of 750 per calendar month. So it had a small driveway and it had a nice big garden at the back. And that was about two years ago. So I don't doubt that the value of that property has gone up even higher um, now because the way the market is, but also her rent's been consistently high for all this time. And she had a family living there and the mum worked in Broad Green Hospital. So I think that's the point that I was trying to make. It's, it's a case of you're going to have to do something a bit differently. If you always do what you've always done, you'll always get what you've always got. And I think you guys need to start looking at something a little bit different. Okay. Um, so I'll see you on another video.